All right, so we're going to go over WIM images. Now, what is a WIM image? And a WIM image is kind of like a ghost image or a ping image. It's basically a snapshot of an entire operating system, and it allows you to clone that operating system. Um, and so if you've ever installed a Windows operating system with Vista or higher, then you have used a WIM image because they use WIM images to deploy those uh, recent versions of Windows. Now, the thing I'm going to talk about is called the Windows Automated Installation Kit, which is a development tool suite that allows you to create your own WIM images and uh, automate deploying images. So let's look at a couple of advantages of WIM images. They're hardware independent, so they can be deployed to uh, different hardware configurations without any trouble. You can have multiple images within one WIM image file, so um, you can store different configuration types within one file rather than having multiple files. Uh, it, they feature image compression and single instance storaging. So if you have uh, multiple WIM images within one WIM file and those images share the same file, it doesn't um, duplicate that data. It simply creates a reference to that one file. And so um, if you have three operating systems on one file, uh, and they're similar operating systems with just some file differences, only those extra file differences will take up more space. So it's a really efficient way of um, uh, utilizing the space within the image file. Uh, you can service images offline, so you can take a WIM file and you can mount it to a folder logically on your uh, desktop and then you can add files to it or remove files um, and do many other things with it. Uh, you can deploy to any size hard drive. Basically the way it works is you use a different program uh, and Microsoft provides one called disk part to format the hard drive before you do the WIM deployment or the WIM imaging process. So the WIM imaging process is basically a file copy. So first you run this program to wipe the hard drive completely, format it to its full size or partitions or whatever you want it to do. And then if there's enough space to copy all the files from the WIM image, it'll, it'll work. So you don't have to worry about, I know with Ghost there's issues with, is this the right hard drive size um, because sometimes they don't expand and you have to uh, do different things. You don't have to worry about that with this. Um, there's a API provided uh, DLL, DLL file that you can use um, to manipulate WIM files programmatically and it is a non-destructive deployment. Like I said before, it's a, I mean essentially a, a file copy really. Uh, so it doesn't delete anything on the hard drive, it just copies its data to the drive um, so it's non-destructive now those are a couple of the advantages let's take a look at a um, little diagram I made that kind of explains how it works so we're talking about WIM right now and the way that you work with WIM is through this uh, exe called image X and that's it and with with this executable we can capture modify append uh, mount our images split our images they can be split up into equally sized chunks um, and so like I talked about before within one one WIM file you can have multiple images um, and so how would you identify which images you want to use well you can designate a um, an index name for identification if you want to create your own unique name identifier but also there's an index number which gets incremented every time you add an image uh, or every time you append an image to an existing image so this number would increase and when you're telling ImageX to apply an image somewhere you would just tell it either the index number 
or the index name. And this is just kind of visu a visual representation of how the um, single instance storage works. So since this is the first copy, this is um, all the data for that Windows XP. But let's say we also added a XP Pro Service Pack 1 to this, let's say it was Windows Home. Um, it wouldn't have to add as much information uh, because all of the core Windows XP files are here and they share those files so only those differences would um, would exist for this image and so this third one here is basically XP Pro with Service Pack 2 so it has very uh, few files because they're similar operating systems and it, it can reference the files from here and from here to uh, fully produce this image here. And here's a Windows 7 which takes up all its data because it's not similar to these other files. So that's a quick look at how the um, single instance, instance storage works. Um, and that's it. So that's a, a quick introduction on why WIM images are really cool but also why they're really awesome. And in the next video, we'll get to the command line and we'll look at how to create WIM images and how to mount them and how to mess with files on them. So thanks for watching.